Okay, so here is how to fix uh, green screen or red screen in a Sony Vegas Pro 11 or green screen in a Sony Vegas Pro 12 over media. So once you add the media, MP4 media, that you create in another program to Vegas, you get this uh, compatibility issue. Okay, that's what this is. So, uh, there's these two ways to fix this. Um, now, the best way to fix it is to convert your media into a, a standard MP4 format HD. So, uh, let's see how we do that. Okay, so let's fix this problem. Now, to fix this problem, you go two ways, like I said. So, uh, the first one is you have to convert the video to be compatible with Sony Vegas. Now, let me just tell you, if you have been in Vegas for a while, you probably have noticed a pattern. Every time they're working out in a new version of Sony Vegas, they send out this, this uh, what they call bug fixes. There is no bugs to fix because, you know, I've been using uh, the both Sony Vegas Pro 11 and Sony Vegas Pro 12 for almost a year now and they never had any problems until they send these updates out okay now in this version uh, pro 11 i have not up upgraded to the to the latest uh, version to the latest build because i don't need to they're telling me to download the build i already have but you know because vegas has become part partially server you know server connected so they still can they activate features on Vegas without you know without you doing the, the, the builds without upgrading. So so we can see what happens, so you can see what happens, you may have these problems. Now if you did upgrade to the latest build, you may get a red screen. Now because I didn't upgrade on Pro 11, I don't get a red screen, I just gonna get a crash. Okay. So let's uh, wait a few seconds and the crash will come up. And there it goes. Okay, so there is the crash. You can report if you want. Uh, if I report, so let's say I want to report. Click send. And now they're going to tell me to upgrade. You see, there is the link for the upgrade. And once you go to the upgrade, there is the upgrade. And you can see they're asking me to, the build is the 700 for the 32-bit or 701 for, uh, for the 64-bit. Okay. Now let's open my Vegas here again. And you can see the build that I have. Okay, so... So open Pro 11 there, and you can see build 700. So why do I want to upgrade for 7? Now, if I do this upgrade, what's going to happen when I add an uh, incompatible file, which they made it incompatible now, I will have a red screen over the video media. Okay? And so it crashes afterwards. Now, to fix this, the best thing to do is to convert the file to a Sony file. To do this, I use a software that you can find the link below this video and you know I'm gonna convert it to mp4 file because it's an mp4 file anyway but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna convert this into a Sony file okay obviously if it's a Sony file it has to play on Sony now we're gonna select devices and we're gonna go to Sony which is already selected as you can see I've been using it and I gotta call this video new video copy okay now we just gonna convert because I make sure I'm saving this on desktop. It is so convert now. So you know it's um, it's something that you need to to do is you either convert the file into a, a compatible file in the in Sony. So because it's a, now it's a Sony file. Okay, I can just bring it in, and you can see there is no problem. So the video just plays. Well. Over media, so you know the video just plays fine, okay, and it doesn't crash. So why? Because Vegas just blocked this uh, to make, to say that there is a problem in the current, in the latest versions, Pro 11, Pro 12, and Platinum 12. You're gonna see this happening in Platinum 12, okay. Now I came across Sony Vegas back in 2006 when I bought my first camera, which is a Sony Sony Handycam, which is a tape camera. And he came. He came with movie studio. That's the first time I come across Vegas. So I've been then been with them for a while. And if I log here into my Sony account, K 
Okay, just gonna kind of squeeze this because I don't want to show the serial numbers. You can see I have a lot of versions here. Okay. The version that is not showing here is now the movie studio, you know, which is, was not HD, it was a tape camera, like I said. So this is the way to fix it, is to convert it. So you use the converter that I'm showing you here. Uh, they have a annual license and a lifetime license, and you buy once, and that's it, okay? Uh, and you also get access to all the software that you see on the page that they sell there. Now, the other way to fix it is, you know, you're going to have to wait until they launch the Sony Vegas Pro, 13 okay which is going to be sometime next year i'm very surprised they didn't send it out uh, right now which is we just you know uh, cyber monday just been but you know be ready because it's definitely something is coming out i'm not sure about that but you know usually that's what they do every year they do this and uh, you know i've been with them long enough to spot this i also contacted the the support Let's see if I can show you without showing you too many. There it goes. So I contacted them now a week ago, telling them about this problem. There it goes. You can see that. Telling them about this problem, and there is no reply. Okay. And usually, I know by experience, when you don't get a reply from a support services, because you touch a nerve. And when you touch a nerve, people just don't reply. Okay. They just close themselves because... You know, they get shocked. How do you know that? But there you go. So here is how to fix the problem with your uh, Sony Vegas uh, incompatible with files. Uh, whatever file that does not work with Vegas, all you do is convert it into uh, the format. Now you can also, you know, if I open here and convert it again into MP4 and make sure I actually convert it into HD file so we don't lose the quality of the file. Uh, you know, you convert it to iPod Touch. Let's devices and you can see that was a, a small file that we can convert to HD 70 which is for the Sony PS3 okay that is the size the right size of the file the H.264 still there and we can convert that and that will be the untitled obviously uh, original files takes a bit longer If I close this and bring in the new folder, the new file, the new video, and put it there, you can see as well, it plays as normal. Because the system thinks it's a file that was created. The system thinks it's a file that was created in, in the Sony software or Sony system. So, you know, it's always going to work. So, there it goes. Hope this helps you fixing and getting your turnaround, carry on working with your Sony Vegas. Uh, you know, it's doing two ways to fix it. Number one is if you got Sony Vegas Pro 10, use Sony Vegas Pro 10 because you have no problem with Sony Vegas Pro 10. If you uh, don't want to get a converter, then you have to wait for the upgrade to come out, for the new version. When the new version comes out and they sold a few copies, then you will see the fix for this one. So, I'm Janunz. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and click on the share button below. Bye-bye.